Yes? We are singing kangaroos. Yes, and I like that. I really do. I'm standing up. Now you're out of the picture, though. Oh, please don't stand there, Peter. Why? It's back on the love seat next to Thomas where you'll be seen. Please go up, sit next that. to Thomas, and then I wonder if you will tell I, us your I story. Will. I will. What? If I get a microphone, will you tell us your story? Yeah. Okay. You can use that microphone right there. Think I should? Yeah. Let's see if I can find a cord so I can bring that microphone over where you are. Okay? Okay. How old are you, Peter? Four years old. Just four? Four years old. I mean, four and a half. You forgot there, didn't you? How old are I you? I mean... How old are you, Thomas? He's two and a quarter. Well, let me ask him. How old are you, Thomas? That's two. Two? Where did you go? Oh. Out. We only see Thomas. This is what we would do. Okay. I'm going to shut it off for a moment. Well, actually, you won't. It won't shut off for you, but I'll just shut off this camera or this tape, and I'll see if I can find that microphone cord. Okay. Yeah. Beep. Testing, testing, testing. What did you say about that? When this light turns on and off, that light. What? Let's go and get in the picture. Let's go and get in the picture. Testing, testing, testing. Why don't you turn it up a little bit? Okay? Watch that one right on that thing that this microphone runs on. Oh, I don't want to shut off now. I just want to see if I can get it. Okay? Well, leave it on now, unless you turn it off, okay? Yeah, there I am. Now, why don't you sit back here and tell me the story? How would that be? Okay. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Peter. Peter and Thomas and Ruth and Catherine. Mm -hmm. And one apple went to bed. She was too tired, and Uncle Charles was too, so they went to bed early. And Catherine woke up and put the cookies and milk out. And then she went back to bed. Huh. And then in the morning, Aunt Pusha saw Catherine did what she was going to do, but she was too tired. And she was very, very proud. Well, good. Because she didn't expect that to happen. Uh -huh. So, and that's 
The end. Well, that's a nice story. I like that. And a short story. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to move these pillows. You scoot over that way, okay? This way? Yeah. And we'll, we'll get enough room in here for Thomas to come in. Why don't you come up here, Thomas? Daddy? Yes. I don't want to hear myself with an echo here. No, we can't do that with this, but we're going to get... We're planning ahead for something even more exciting. Tom, come on up here. And show me what you've got. Daddy, I'm being more excited to talk in this. Are you? Yes. Thomas, how old are you? Just two. Just two? Yeah, because two and a quarter. Because why? Because why? Huh? What did you do? Huh? Why do you suppose he won't talk to me? I don't know. You don't know. Can you see me in the window up there? Oh, I meant in the camera. See, here I'm trying to talk to Tom and I can't even get him in the picture. There, now he's in the picture. Can you say something? Testing one, two, three. <laughs> Perfect. Testing one, two, three. Yeah. Very good, Tom. Don't Test. Go. You're bumping the camera. What are you doing? Oh. Testing one, two, three. Testing, testing one, two, three. Very good, Thomas. Mm -hmm. Here, we don't touch the top, though. We're not even with our lips. We just hold it and talk. Testing, one, two, three. You see that? Yeah, you that's, see? that's a switch, isn't it? You see that little switch? Yeah, what does that do? I see you really close. That's good. I see you kind of close. You Turn on off. Oh, is that the on off switch? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Better leave it on. We don't want to get shut off, do we? Testing one, two, three. I wish I had a picture of Peter there at the, you know, standing behind the camera. Testing one, two, three. I hope he doesn't fall down. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Very good, Thomas. Say, are you happy today? Yeah. Oh, good. Did you have a nice Christmas? Yeah. Because don't touch the top. Okay? Okay, don't touch the top. I won't touch the top. Touching one, two, three. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What else can you say? Just people. Say, would you do me a favor? Yeah. Would you sing a song for me? No. <gasps> no? Yes. Sing Lullaby Baby. No, I wanna, I wanna sing ABC song. Okay, sing the ABC song. Peter, don't, no, 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 no. You're gonna block the picture, honey. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, O, M, O, N, O, P, G, O, S, T U V Peter. W X Y Z No my A B C C is I J O U S I J O U S I J O U S I J O U S I J O Dun me dun the swing, moe moe moe, with a bat a swing. Very good. That's very good, Tyler. Testing one two three. Are you gonna come back? That's good. That's good. Whoa. 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 Here, sit and look at that camera. There. One hold this. Are you going, Thomas? Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah.
Whoa, 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 you boat gently down the stream. Merry, 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 wife, we but a dream. You know other songs too, don't you, Peter? You can sing another song if you want. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. How to me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Mm -hmm. Good work. <laughs> good work, good work, good work. I love well? you, Daddy. Why, thank you. No, here, let Daddy hold it, because I know how. A, B, C, D, E, F, C, H, I, J, O, M, O, N, O, P. No, my E, B, C, D, E, F, F. <laughs> oh, what fun you fellows are. Well, this is something new, because we have the portable recorder remember peter i've carried that around but but uh this is something new because the camera's just been sitting there it hasn't moved and we just play to the camera and it seems to be working <laughs> do you suppose um um let me think i don't know in fact it might be a good time now to check and see if we've recorded anything don't push it, though, please, hon. Because I'm going to come over and check. Excuse me, Tom. I don't even know if the tape's been moving, but I've been having such a good time that I don't really care. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Da 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 da. I don't think that it would do anything. Now, look what I'm going to do. Whoops, I moved the camera a little too, too fast. You're moving kind of closer. It looks that way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I think you can see yourself close. And I move you close like that. Why don't I give the microphone to you? You, oh, you remember about the microphone that we never talk too close to it. We always keep it about this far away. You are handling it really well. But don't let it get too close to your mouth, okay? Okay. Well, well Tom, that's actually a little too close. Is it, could I see how, what it would do if that, but, if that <laughs> button was pushed? There's nobody out there to take a picture of. Unless somebody goes out there, I'll have to shut it off. You better go out there, Peter. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Now, just for the fun of it, I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit and we'll see what happens, okay? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Turn up a little bit more, Daddy. Testing one, two, three. <gasps> I heard my voice. You heard your voice. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. I better sit on the floor this time, otherwise I won't be at the right. Uh, now that's what you call a tight shot. Because I testing. Can't one, two, in. three. Hello. Testing. One, two, three. 
Let me try it. Hello, hello. Thomas, why don't you come and try it? Testing, one, two, three. What? Thomas, do it. One, two, three. Can you do that again? Yeah. One, two, three. I want you in the picture. Testing, testing. He's not very conscious of being in the picture, is he? One, two, three. Okay, you take it back, and I want to go change the picture. What's fun about this... No, I meant you take the microphone back. Can you stay in the picture for a minute? Okay. What I think is fun about this is that that's the microphone that you and I tested a couple of weeks ago, and we made it work. And it goes with a different camera entirely, and here we are able to use it on this Shall we see if we recorded anything? Yeah. Testing, one, two, three. Daddy, I have a good idea. What's that? I'll go away and you'll be turned up. You hear somebody talking in a microphone and you didn't even know they were talking in a microphone and you heard somebody doing a microphone. Well, I did think of something fun. Why don't you go way over by Mommy's writing table? Right there. Yeah. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. I love you, Daddy. I moved a little bit. Testing, one, two, three. Testing. Testing, one, two, three. Daddy, I see a pretend fire in the mudroom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you when it's out. The fire is out. Boy, that was fun. Oh, look at the power Thomas is building. Oh, mm. oh, look at it. Look at it. Yes, it is, Rory. Testing. Yeah, it sure is. Are you going to build more on your tower? Yeah. I hope he is. That is quite a tower. Yeah, it is. It sure is. Why don't you put the microphone down on this? This one, uh, whatever that is. That's, that's to rest your feet on, silly. Test day. One, two, three. Okay, that's, I don't want you to do any more that close to the microphone because that's distracting. Oh. 
Would you step to the side so we can see Clown Bilbo? You know what? I'll also shut it off if you make faces like that. Because they're not good faces. You know, that's a, a scene that I will always remember is Thomas sitting there on the floor playing. He does it so often. Daddy, pretty soon you'll be the team meeting you're playing too with Thomas. Oh yeah? Yeah. Pretty soon. Looks like you're building a tower too. I think I've just become the narrator. It's quite a tower. I admit that. Yeah. It's a little too close to me to actually be in the picture. Now, if you were to go over and sit next to Thomas, then you could be in the picture real well. You know what I just realized? Mm -hmm. It's lunchtime. Oh, huh? uh, lunchtime? Yeah. We can leave that thing on and leave it just like that. You think we can leave it on and leave it just like that? Well, I suppose we could. Dad, you cut off my head. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, for the advice, Peter. I need all the help I can get. Thomas, mm -hmm. what do you want for lunch today? A peanut butter and peanut butter and honey toast, Daddy. Yeah. I'll be right back. You'll be right back. Thomas likes to bite his lower lip, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. I just noticed that. Mom and Daddy, could I take Thomas's picture? Mm. With what? With what are you button. touching then? The red button. Oh, don't, honey, please. But I want to take Thomas's picture. Well, that has nothing to do with touching the red button. Besides, I'm taking his picture right now. How are you going to take his picture? Look at the TV. Is it broken a little bit? 
Well, I'm going to shut it off now, Tom, so can you say goodbye? Goodbye. Why don't you turn to me and say goodbye? Goodbye. I'm ready for an explanation now of how it all works. Oh, you look very nice, Daniel. Can you explain it to me now? No. What's what? There's a helicopter sitting outside the front door. Helicopter? Well, if that's going to be huge, I'm going to put it on all the buildings down here. And I like the windmill on the bottom, too. Sensible. And if I want to move it next to the stairs, I can just kick some of the parts off. So it won't all fall down. Mm -hmm. And I would hate for it to fall. It's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. I knew it. <laughs> the builder's pride. Well, thank you for showing it to me. No, it's great. <laughs> Let me look at it. See what I'm looking at now? Yeah. Thomas. Thomas. That's right. Why don't you look at my building now? Because I just finished doing that. You know what I especially like about your building, though? What? I'll show you in the picture. I like... Mm, Loosen this a little bit. I like the bottom arch. See, let me zoom in on it. You see now in the camera? See that part? I like the arch where you've got one tower that comes up in the center. 
but you have others that come up on the sides. Yeah, that's juicy. I'll show you what I like about it. Okay. That's what I meant. That's called an arch. Well, thank you for showing me. And how are you, Thomas? What are you doing over there? Oh, okay. Just, he doesn't want to be on TV at the moment. What are you doing? I don't know how that ever stands up, you know. This person? Yeah. Well, we'll get from you. See? You know how it's used for? No, you better tell me. Let me give you a little tip. When you talk to me, face toward me so that I can hear better, okay? Okay. Okay, try again. Stand over by it, and then if when you, you can stand behind it, maybe, and point. And then I'll be able to see your face and hear you better. You know, this farm... Oh, it does say farm up there. Yeah, and farm, police, and station. That means it's the farm and police. I mean, Trying to take a closer look here. What are you looking for? had a spectacular earthquake. Well, in the meantime, I better go back and do a little work and I'll check in with you later. So, so long for now. Superman riding rawhide, that's great. This is 
up so much room in the in the camera. Can we move Rawhide over right where the light would shine and get some real good pictures? Okay, let's do that. I think Thomas is strong enough to bend that like that. I Superman pull this chair right here closer to me because it's kind of blocking my picture. sitting very delicately. Who will ride the train for me? the whistle.
You're in the picture with Thomas. Yes, Thomas. I'm over here. That's right, it's a bucking horse. Video game time, huh? Hello, Burp. I would like to see Peter ride the horse now. Thomas, can I see Peter ride Rawhide, please?
Well, we're making history now. Are you taking them now? Yeah. What a way to spend Super Bowl, huh? Oh, yeah. That means it's the 24th of January, 1982, and mm -hmm. there's Grandma and Grandpa's house coming up. Go real slow now. See, we're already past it. Camera's looking ahead. Okay. Now, which way? Should I go to the right? Sure. Let's go by our place and see what it looks like. Many marks fell Friday night and Saturday for snow records in Minnesota. Lean forward and, and, and read, and the microphone is in front. Drive as slowly as you can, please. Okay, right. and we'll kind of get a uh, a better view here. Many records fell Friday night and Saturday in Minnesota, as far as snow records are concerned. The most snow recorded for any month, 44 and one tenth inches, fell. The old mark was 40 inches, set in March of 1951. As a point of reference, the average annual snowfall in the, in the Twin Cities is 45 inches. 45. That's season total. Yes. Now we've had 44 already. And we've had 44 and one tenth inches. The most snow to fall in any January, the previous record, was 35.3 inches, and that was set in 1967. Look at they have their flags here to mark yeah, their driveway. To mark the driveway. Kind of interesting. The most snow to fall in 24 hours was 18.5 inches, another record that was only two days old when it fell. That was the, what I call the Shepherd's House. They don't live there anymore, but... I think it's the Hubbard's that live there now. Is it? Well, now, I had heard that we've had so far, on the weather radio last night, they said 69 inches so far this season. Well, let me find out what it is. And we there. have 44 on the ground or something like that. The most snow on the ground at one time, 38.2 inches. You can take your pick of old records. Wow. The weather services, which is 31.5 inches, set in March 16, 1917 or the state's record, which is 34 inches set near the end of February in 1929. That's the limousine that goes to the airport. Joanne oh, Kimberly. I see. I recognize it. Must be that Mark. You want to drive through there? Think you can get through? All right, I bet you we can. We'll try it. For old times' sake, our, where our old house is? The Twin Cities did receive more snow than any other part of the state. International Falls got 13.1 inches, Stillwater 17 and a half inches, Faribault 15, Duluth Whoa. 16. Oh boy. More kids coming there, Randy. Isn't that something right out in front? Yeah. This cul-de-sac, this kind of proves it, that this cul-de-sac is uh, small. There's our old house, of course, right there. It's smaller than our new one. They haven't fixed the numbers on the mailbox yet, either. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks familiar. Yeah, it sure does. Well, now, let me, why don't you continue, and then I'll probably, I'll, Forget all these, and I'll just ask you over again what the numbers are. Well, the Army of Plows faced a, uh, quite a target here. They had 19.9 inches of snow, a record for a single storm. Even though the old record, which was 17.1 inches, had been made only since Wednesday. In other words, two days before. That's what, you know, when Pat's folks called yesterday, that's what was interesting to tell them, that we had 17.1. Look at those mailboxes. <laughs> we had 17.1, and then we had, what, 19.9? Uh-huh. 
Wow. It's a lot of snow in three, four days. Now this is still very slippery out here. There's a car coming too. Temperature must be down near zero again or below, isn't it, right now? It must be. The windows are frosting up on the side of the car. Yeah, well, that's the difference. We just burned out the heater motor, so. Oh, I see. There's not much we can do. It could be the thermostatic switch that's burned out too instead of the motor. Yeah. I have burned those out. Before. Oh, have you? I'll warn you that it's so slippery that I slid past. See? Uh huh. So, uh, go real slow and, and uh, then I went out to the left also so I could make it in. That worked pretty well. Signals so that, that, that didn't, they know what you're doing. Look at how they slipped on there. Go slow, go, go slow. Oh, shoot. You'll never make it. <laughs> I warned him. I was afraid. I warned him. I was afraid of the guy behind me. He was coming a little faster than I liked. Same thing here now. Pump and slow, because they've been, we've, we've seen him block this road here a lot. Uh-huh. Should I turn right or should I go across and through the lot over there? All right, we're back there on Nicollet and we'll we'll try this again. He's going to do the same thing. I have a shovel in the trunk. Uh, I've learned on general principles. Because Wednesday I didn't make it home, you know. I do want to get up in our neighborhood before the front window frosts. Should have taken our car. Now signal so they know what you're doing. Because then the guys behind you too will know. Hard to see the driveway. There it is. It's here. Oh, you've got it made now. Anderson's house. He's dug out his mailboxes so nicely. Yes, he has. Ronneberg. His mailbox is visible. <laughs> Just. And there's the view up toward Scott. The top part is as a speaker. Look at that mountain. Isn't that something? Why don't you drive around it a couple of times? Let's see what our place looks like. See, after you were up here earlier, I cleared out uh, as best I could. You did a lot of clearing. It was that lovely snowblower to do it. Yesterday, Charlie and I found the hydrant, dug oh. that out. We got ours dug out, too. Yeah. It was all covered up. This is where we get the drifting. That wall of snow right there. Yeah, it sure slides in there with the wind. See, they're 
snow tunnel there. <laughs> what fun. They've got a couple of them now. Well, let's go on down then. Proceed ahead? Yeah. Well, I'm sure I can make it down the hill. What a storm. I used to burn out the low speed range control there. But you had it on high, so you shouldn't have that trouble. It happened during the time I was in the house. Yeah. Look at this view. Isn't that pretty? Yes. A long range view. Stop here a second if you can. And I will uh, bring that in a little better. Doesn't look like all that much snow out there. At the interstate, the car is going by. Yeah. That sun looks pretty hazy. Shall I proceed? Sure. We expect them to get the plow up here again sometime. I would certainly think so. I thought they might come through today. I heard a fellow from St. Paul talking, and they got, uh, they have 25 miles of the north-south residentials yet to do, and oh. they didn't make it yesterday. Oh, I see. Just think of the hundreds of miles that they have to cover in the day. I asked him what his worst problem was, whether it was deep snow or cars stuck in the streets. And he said that uh, it was really both. But the cars presented the worst problem because then they yeah. can't even try. Can't even get through. Which way would you like to go? I don't know. Let's talk about it. A lot of them get surprised here. It's, it doesn't look that slippery. I think you've got some bare street between the snow spots. Not, not too much snow on my roof. Most of it blew off, which I'm glad, happy to say. When we were over to uh, Target yesterday, as, you know, as I was going to tell you this morning, if we could have turned around, we would have. But they were plowing down there and uh, making ridges, so it was hard to get over it. You know, and people were taking advantages of it in different areas and going where they shouldn't go just because they thought it was better to get on. Yeah. And uh, so finally, uh, they were staying right down at the end of the the uh, drive going up to the turnoff onto 35W, and staying way down there, and then making a run for it, hoping that the light would be favorable to them to get through. But it, we got over to Target, and it was blowing. So and it, then when you know, then, and when we went in, it, when we came out, it was 20 times worse. It, it oh, couldn't my. Do anything. Wasn't it terrible, really? Yeah, it really went into blizzard conditions. So we were, but that was still the best for us to go over that way and turn around in Target lot and come back, you know, than to try to turn around. Yeah. In midstream, you might say. Well, I don't know if I told you that they called last night and canceled church for today. No, did oh, they? Oh, did they? Yeah. And I'm not just sure why. I think it's possible Bill was traveling this week, and perhaps he just couldn't get back. Yeah. Well, if he flew out somewhere, he, well, he probably wasn't able to fly in. We listened to the cancellations this morning, and Apple Valley churches were closed, and yeah. Granite Falls churches were closed. And just and I think a lot of them figured that uh, the weather was okay today, but people would be digging out. Yeah. Look at those icicles. And of course wow. it was predicted to be 20 below zero, which holds some people home to. Yeah. Boy, there are icicles on that roof. We took a uh, picture of our patio deck. Dad put the, the yardstick in it. And it was a little over 36 inches. 36. 
That shows the snow when you look at a truck. It sure does. John's car was completely hidden. When I went out to get the paper late yesterday afternoon, well, he had gotten home from practice about noon, I suppose. And uh, I just went out to get the paper, and here, all of a sudden, I heard, Hi, are you over there? <laughs> you all go up to me. <laughs> Can't hardly see you anymore. <laughs> It's interesting how deserted the streets are now. That it's after, you know, after kickoff time. Yeah. And uh, and the uh, streets are just deserted. Look at the ice field up here. Oh yeah, pause here and let me. Oakland Lane. What you could see if that call was that gun on the house of the land or Hogan is showing up. I almost gave up going up the street coming home the other day. The fellow in this house on the corner came up and gave me a push. Really? Makes a nice blanket. Sure does. Good insulating blanket. Like that roof. A lot of extra insulation there. This house here at Tamarack has a lot of snow on it. Yeah. Well, as soon as I see your place, wife, I'll know we've made a full circle. And there she goes. Stick towns, okay. but why don't you sing for us? up in the tree. You didn't use your climbing motion. Can you do that part again? No. <laughs> Peter, you want to come over and sing it with Thomas? Yeah, let's have a duet. Tree for the Lord he wanted to see. I 
that God loves us. That's plain to see. He's a savior and a friend for you and for me. In his loving arms he holds us every night and day. When we're waking, when we're sleeping by us, he will stay. We know that God loves us. That's plain to see. He's a savior and a friend for you and for me. Oh, I think that's neat. I didn't know you knew all the words to that song. What a big guy. Yeah. What a big guy. Well, Thomas was so excited about being filmed, and then he knocked over the piano bench and kind of took the wind out of the piano. I think that's right. Yeah. I can see Thomas, too. Mm-hmm. I think that's right. He felt so badly about knocking over the piano bench that he decided not to sing so much. Isn't you going to sing for us anymore, Tom? You could. <laughs> you and Thomas could sing to, I mean, you and Peter could sing together. Sure. Sure we could. I guess so. <laughs> sure, we'll hear five little ducks. Five little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. Another duck called quack, quack, quack. Four little ducks came running back. Four little ducks went out to play. Over the hills and far away, mother duck called quack, quack, quack. Three little ducks came running back. Three little ducks went out to play. Over the hills and far away, mother duck called quack, quack, quack. Qu called quack, quack, quack. Two little ducks came running back. Two little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck called quack, quack, quack. Yeah. One little duck came running back. One little duck ran out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck called quack, quack, quack. No little ducks came running back. Daddy duck called quack, quack, quack. Five little ducks came running back. Very good, honey. Very good. Can you Thomas is oh. 
face in there with it. Put it up on my chair if you want. Don't do that. Don't blind shoot. Can you get Thomas in wow. there? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Can you get Thomas over closer to us? Can you lean over in here and look, look up, up at Grandpa? Me. Lean over here and look up at Grandpa. Hi. Hey. <laughs> How about turning the cake around to our knee? Okay. So can I have the whole thing? And then what he's going to have the interesting cake. <laughs> Less said about that, the better. Okay. And Thomas wants the whole thing. Luckily, oh, he's yeah. not fussy about things like this. Oh, the whole thing, huh? Not the mm -hmm. whole cake. I want some. Oh, you, shall I save a piece oh, for you? Oh, you will. Yeah, I thought I'd cut out this little piece for you and then give the rest to Thomas. No, no, not the little piece. Oh, your I mommy want that will give you little nice piece. piece. You want this little piece right here? Uh -huh. You want some ice cream with it? Mm -hmm. okay. And the mommy, I'll have the yellow balloon with part of the words. Okay. There. There's one spoon. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, you're welcome. There's a spoon for you. Oh, thank you. I'm so. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's a lot of love. Oh, that was a lot of love. I just I so. just gave you 100 heartbeats. Oh. And, How can and, I? and so fast it needed a million. Is that right? How could I be so lucky to have all that love from you? Thank you, my dear. That is just very, very special. Okay, there you are. Oh, what a nice big I piece. Didn't get, of I didn't get any. Well, if I would have given you words, honey, there wouldn't have been any room for... You got that um, big balloon there. See? For ice cream. Grandma, how big a piece would you oh, like? Oh, not as big as Peter's. Should I give you a thin slice? Yes, please. Okay. I'll give you the red balloon. I got... I got part of the red balloon. You did? Mm-hmm. Then I'm not going to have a full red balloon, am I? I'm going to have a smaller red balloon. Ah, my, my fingers. goodness, Thomas is going at it so <laughs> fast. You like your birthday cake, don't you, Thomas? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good work, mm -hmm. Mom. Oh, thanks. Good work. Ice cream? Well, Randy, while you're moving around, maybe you could bring coffee. Since you're up. Three-year-old boy, Thomas. Look at how he's eating. Whoa! Thank you. I don't want any oh. more than this. You do like that cake and ice cream, Think don't you, Thomas? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to be smart. Mm. Happy, happy birthday, Thomas. Mm -hmm. This is a butter brickle cake. It is. Oh, that's enough for me. I'm yes. going to sit down mm -hmm. and eat it. Yes. Goodbye, Thomas. Wave goodbye to you your daddy. daddy. Goodbye, goodbye, Daddy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to me, you can say. How about one more bite of cake to get him ready, and then he'll sing happy birthday. Hey, you think you could sing happy birthday for daddy? Mm-hmm. Let's hear it. Let me get the nose there. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, daddy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> you. Can you sing wonderful. happy birthday to Thomas? Uh, Can we sing it one more time? Happy birthday to Thomas. No, let's sing, it happy, let's sing happy birthday to Thomas. Okay. okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Thomas.
Happy 4th of July, Look at that footwork. Wonderful from here. I hope I'm getting it. Is the tape the cat, moving? The cat. Yep. Thomas the says cat. to look at the cat, but we'll. well she's just lying here in the coya, sniffing around, laying low. <laughs> Max, you're a TV star. What you doing, Maxie? Mm -hmm. Now, we're not going to push you this time. You're going to have to keep working the rules. You're going to have to go on your own. <laughs> he did it on his own. Pretty good. 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 Well, let's see now. Oh, my. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? Woo! Oh. He says he's tired of being sweet and happy. You know what, Peter? What? I would like to see you on your bicycle zooming around. Would you do that? You want to ride on your bike? Let's try one. Meanwhile, I'll go down and you switch to the bicycle and I'll We're record try just one skate Moxie. Now. We're going to have you a whole lot I just want to go with one stick. Will that be all right? Very interesting. Which stick would you rather leave on? Left or right? That, that one. So I'll take this. Take this one off. Yeah. That's one that's stuck in there. Okay. Well, let's, let's see if we can help Peter. Where can we go? He's going to just wear one now. Try one now. Meanwhile, we'll we'll put Thomas on film for a little while. He's so cute these days.
step, roll, step, roll. Well, I'm interested because Grandpa said in two lessons he could have any boy roller skating. Well, you better not get his feet on again. He does better, I think, with it. That one last thing he was doing was pretty good. I think the problem there is that it's such a difference in height. Yeah. 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 Say hello to Moxie. Well, Moxie's been on film all right. Don't take Moxie on skates. You might kill him. <laughs> now, let's put your other skate on. We'll try the two skates. Ted, uh, you were talking about that one branch on your uh, here. I'll bet you could find that out. Zoom, away she goes. Must be hard not having claws. Well, life is like that, huh? No. No, I'm not going to do any more roller skating. Point me. And then the next lesson you learn better, and then by the third lesson you'll be doing it by yourself. Stop it when we came. Peter has decided he's he's going to go ride his bicycle. Meanwhile, I'm filming Thomas Bamazamas. Wow, that blur was Peter. They keep going. Yeah. They keep trying to go through. Yeah, that's Yeah, it is. Great. Did you are these from uh, the way he zooms into the street makes us very glad we live on the cul de sac. Yeah. Look at him go. He'll come blasting out of there any second now. You just watch. There goes the lawnmower. I know he's coming. Okay, give us a countdown. I knew he'd start at 10. I'm glad he didn't start at 20. <laughs> Makes me wish I had a bicycle. Yeah. Meanwhile, Thomas is mowing the lawn over here. She's helping. Yeah. They said it couldn't be done, and maybe they were right. <laughs> he's, he's in stocking feet and on skates. Ladies, you really shouldn't miss this. Pat? You really shouldn't miss this. Combines all the risks of roller skating with with all of the pain of walking barefoot on rocks.
Hi, Thomas. I'm taking a picture. Yep, yep, that's a pretty nice lawnmower you got there. Does it work pretty well too? Ah, uh, let's see you go. Yeah. Working really good. Thank you, Thomas. Thomas is going to be four in September. Will you be four? Yes. Yeah. You're going to have a birthday? September is my birthday. September 16th. No. 19th. 19th, that's right. You'll be four years old. At my birthday. Yes. TV. Hello. A gas station at TV. Okay, you say goodbye, Peter. Goodbye. And Thomas, how about you? Want to wave goodbye? Bye. Goodbye. Finger off and push down again, then I'll be recording. Push down again. Uh, do I have to have my finger on the trigger? No. Oh. The trigger starts and stops it. So it's going, is it going now? Well, I don't know, honey. I just explained. Yes, it's going now. Well, then you did push the trigger. The next time you squeeze the trigger, it will stop. You I must see. have squeezed the trigger to start it. Ah. Right? Oh, I see. Stop it. I had I was holding the trigger in. Oh, okay. So you were halfway through. I see. Yeah. You don't need to hold the trigger. Hi folks. You don't need to uh, hold the trigger in to okay. take it. It just starts and stops it. Okay. Otherwise your little finger would get so tired. I see. Yeah. So do you have the camera straight now? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, that's complicated. Well, I'm not going to think about that. I'm going to think about ice cream. Alrighty. Oh, these, these are just perfect. Cool. Cool. Aren't you going to help him? <laughs> so cool. Your boy's got to get around. Peter, you're going to get around on you're the other side. Of the table by table your get any little fingers, do we? Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Your daddy, you can add them all. <laughs> Help me put those cubes in there, guys. Mm. We gotta get that in there, don't we? Why don't we just pour the whole big bowl? Well, I want to make sure there are cubes, you see. It is cold, isn't it? But let's we'll do that, Pete. I'll just break them up here.
salt over here. And we've got a little measuring cup here, see? Now, once I get going here, I'm not going to stop. I'll have to depend on helpers to add salt, okay? And then we're going to need lots more ice cubes. Don't have lots more ice cubes. You don't have don't put it in your mouth. mouth. Don't put the salt in your mouth. No, it's dirty salt. It's rock salt. And it's designed to help ice and snow melt. Now, don't you want that on a... How you doing, Cecil? You're doing fine. ...pan or something, so as the ice can melt, bring it into a pan. Oh. Last time, by the time the level got up close, we were done. Okay. I'm trying to keep the salt out toward the outside. We don't want the salt on the cover. We want it on the ice. Is your daddy an electric motor? Who's timing you? What time is it? 4.57. Four. We have to bring this over here, though, because I'm not in the center of the table. Oh, 4.54. I think we'll be done by 5. 
the train now. Mm. We're almost there already.
the more you turn it, the, the finer texture you get. Is that it? I don't think it's pretty fine now, believe me. Yeah, it's good. It really is. Very good. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Boy, mm -hmm. oh, I got a warm up there at the end. Do you think it's Smile. gonna work? Wow! Did you put your daddy on there too? No. I oh, bet you did. I bet you did. I want to take one more picture of Gus Thomas. Alright. How close, how close are you gonna get? I'm gonna be 
Well, Mommy's hand is about ready to fall off. Time to say goodbye to the camera. Goodbye. Bye, camera. Here. You say goodbye to the camera, Thomas. Goodbye. I'm taking Ruby. It's going to be on a movie. Sorry, you can't help it. And a phone. Elmo gives. happens a little fast for the camera woman here. Is Daddy calling? Yeah. No, there's nobody in range. I will have to pan over to Peter, who runs by.
Not much action in this movie, I don't think. Looks cool, though. Beautiful summer day. Where's Thomas? Um, he's out there playing, um, playing with him. I think we better go see him. There he is. I'm going to get transformed. Well, boys, say goodbye. Uh, wait a minute. Goodbye. Not finding what